1992, I didn't place at all in the Olympia. Didn't get a dime. Didn't get a dollar. Hey, this is a show. Uh, talk is cheap. You want to do something? Hey, we can do something right now. Yeah! No! Pretty much wanted the competition from the back. I'll never forget a judge approaching me after the show. You know, I've won the Arnold Classic in America twice. I have a huge fan base here in Australia and I wanted to come and train like that and withstand that and, and live like that and do that and do that and do that. Do you know I have a chance against it? The iconic 2001 press conference. During the intense Olympia press conference of 2001, Ronnie Coleman held nothing back when discussing his fellow bodybuilder, Kevin Lavrone. With a touch of humor and a sprinkle of sarcasm, Coleman offered a candid glimpse into their rivalry. In 1992, I didn't place at all in the Olympia. Didn't get a dime, didn't get a dollar. Listen to what people say, <clears throat> I won six times because I worked my butt off in the gym and did what I had to do. No! Hey, this is a show. Uh, talk is cheap. You want to do something? Hey, we can do something right now. In his larger-than-life style, Coleman found a lighthearted target in Kevin Lebrone, addressing the common complaints and whispers that often surrounded such events. Looking back, Ronnie humorously remarked that during times of challenge, he didn't let complaints dominate his perspective. There was a clear irony in his tone as he emphasized the importance of focusing on the journey rather than fixating on setbacks. It was evident that Ronnie possessed a gift for translating his reflections into vivid words. He drove his point home with a colorful anecdote, suggesting that in the face of victory, complaints weren't exactly commonplace. As he reacted to the dynamics of the press conference, Ronnie deftly balanced his observations with a dose of good-natured humor. He navigated through his recollections with wisdom, implying that complaining, even in the face of challenges, wasn't the approach he took to reach his goals. Through his retelling, he managed to convey a more profound message, that embracing challenges and channeling energy into growth was a more promising route than dwelling on perceived shortcomings. Ronnie Coleman's voice in that moment wasn't just about bodybuilding commentary, it was a lesson in resilience and determination. His words subtly echoed the sentiment that focused on solutions, rather than complaints, was a path toward eventual success. Amidst the amusement and laughter, Ronnie's demeanor left an indelible mark, portraying him not only as a bodybuilder, but also as a motivational presence advocating for an action-oriented mindset. With a sly grin, Coleman shifted his focus to Lavrone's comments about the judges and the sport itself. There's something wrong with the judges, you're saying? I'm just saying something's wrong with y'all's bodies, he quipped. The room erupted in laughter once again, as Coleman's humorous take on the situation provided a refreshing perspective. His playful jab highlighted the camaraderie that often exists among competitors, even in the midst of intense rivalry. Behind the banter, he was reminding his fellow athletes to keep their focus on improvement and growth, rather than dwelling on perceived injustices. He shared his own experiences of not complaining, even when he faced challenges and setbacks. Going backstage at the Mr. Olympia, and I literally looked, I'm telling you, man. I wanted to be the best and be on top. And uh, to always be on top. I kind of relaxed a whole lot because I was like, okay, I think I got it. So I'm gonna just relax and have fun with this. I don't like ice cream. Bob don't like ice cream. Susie does. But in, in actuality, it all goes back to my strongest attribute. With a mix of wit and wisdom, he underscored the importance of resilience and determination on the journey to success. Ronnie Coleman didn't just speak about bodybuilding, he delivered a universal lesson on facing challenges with a positive attitude. His words echoed the sentiment that complaints are often wasted energy that could be better spent on striving for excellence. The Truth Let's delve into an intriguing showdown that took place at the 2002 Mr. Olympia between two powerhouse bodybuilders, Ronnie Coleman and Kevin Lebron. Pretty much won the competition from the back. I'll never forget a judge approaching me after the show. You know, I've won the Arnold Classic in America twice. I have a huge fan base here in Australia and I wanted to come. 
Okay, alright, right there. Woo, you gotta get this right. This is heavy weight! My most dominant pose, and the reason I won the 1998 Olympics. This contest stirred up a lot of discussions among fitness enthusiasts, and it's worth taking a closer look. In this particular Olympia event, Ronnie Coleman emerged victorious, leaving Kevin Lebrone in the second spot. The competition was fierce, with other notable contenders like Chris Cormier, Dexter Jackson, and Gunter Schuller also vying for recognition. However, it was Coleman's day to shine, and his win wasn't without its share of interesting observations. Coleman's approach to his physique in 2002 was distinct. Opting for a slightly smaller size, he prioritized showcasing intricate muscle details over sheer mass. This strategy, though not without its challenges, highlighted his commitment to evolving his presentation and his awareness of the competition around him. The poses in bodybuilding contests are crucial in accentuating strengths and revealing weaknesses. Let's talk about some of these key poses that caught attention. The front double biceps pose displayed a battle of brawn between the two contenders. While Kevin Lavrone boasted impressive biceps length, Ronnie Coleman's peak was notably superior. Coleman's edge extended to his thighs, which were considered among the best in his era, giving him a significant advantage in overall leg development. Moving on to the side chest pose, we witnessed a duel of proportions. Coleman's chest appeared fuller and more rounded, underscoring his dedication to maintaining an imposing upper body. Meanwhile, Kevin Lavrone's shoulders, a hallmark of his physique, remained a standout feature. The back poses are often a showcase of power and definition. In the back double biceps pose, Ronnie Coleman's dominance was apparent. His incredibly defined glutes and hamstrings set him apart from Lavrone, whose back wasn't as commanding in this particular pose. The rear lat spread highlighted wide lats for both athletes, but Ronnie's depth and density in his lats were noticeably superior, enhancing his overall presentation. Moving to the side triceps pose, Kevin Lavrone shone with his exceptional shoulder development and rib chest. In contrast, Ronnie Coleman's ripped quads took the spotlight, emphasizing his commitment to conditioning and muscularity. The abdominal and thighs pose saw a divide in strengths. Kevin's aesthetics in the midsection versus Ronnie's unmatched thigh size, separation, and definition. Lastly, the most muscular pose revealed the raw power both these athletes possessed. Kevin Lavrone's impressive shoulders stood out, while Ronnie Coleman's mass, definition, and muscle maturity stole the show. Ronnie, unbeatable when he had his best. Nobody beat Ronnie. It was a Ronnie era, so we had to chase the chip. It's evident that both Ronnie Coleman and Kevin Lavrone brought their A-game to the stage, leaving a lasting mark on the history of bodybuilding. Whether you're a fan of muscular details or awe-inspiring size, this showdown had something for everyone. Kevin Lavrone on Ronnie Kevin Lavrone explains why he believes that Ronnie Coleman's strength is beyond human and a gift from God. Kevin Lavrone makes one thing clear, there is nothing normal about Ronnie Coleman and his talents. As far as Lavrone is concerned, Ronnie is a once-in-a-lifetime athlete. His genetics are blessed beyond anything that other bodybuilders have seen. He's not just talking about pure physique aesthetic, he's also genetically gifted when it comes to his strength. Ronnie talks about always being naturally strong, he plays it off humbly, but Kevin Lavrone explains it. According to Lavrone, Ronnie Coleman's remarkable physique was a result of his unique approach to training. Lavrone emphasized that Coleman intentionally pushed his muscles to their limits, aiming to achieve a level of definition characterized by deep cuts and striations. I learned this early on when I wanted to become a professional bodybuilder. No one really taught me. I just had to keep learning. You know, that can't be done through just sitting there pumping 25, 30, or 40 pound dumbbells. Be a creator. Use your mind. Think outside. This rigorous training regimen was a key factor that propelled Coleman's body to its exceptional state. Lavrone acknowledged that attempting to replicate Coleman's results through ordinary gym workouts is an endeavor that wouldn't yield the same outcome. In essence, he believed that the distinctive combination of effort, 
dedication, and training style that Ronnie Coleman embraced set him apart, making his physique a truly unparalleled achievement. Yes, Ronnie Coleman did work hard, but Kevin Lavrone thinks that if someone worked just as hard as him, they wouldn't get the same results. That's what makes Ronnie a Michael Jordan or LeBron James of the bodybuilding world. It's a near once-in-a-lifetime event. Lavrone continued in reflecting on Ronnie Coleman's videos, showcasing his incredible feats of strength. Kevin Lavrone commented on the extraordinary nature of Coleman's abilities. Lavrone expressed his belief that the level of weight Coleman would handle in those videos went far beyond what could be considered normal strength. Lavrone attributed this remarkable capability to a divine gift, stating that it was undoubtedly a result of a unique talent bestowed upon Coleman by a higher power. The sheer magnitude of Coleman's feats left an indelible impression on Lavrone, emphasizing the awe-inspiring and unparalleled nature of Coleman's strength. Kevin Lavrone then expands beyond that. Ronnie was a gift not only for his own abilities, but to what he gave to bodybuilding. Lavrone goes on to detail how Ronnie blew open the ceiling of what was possible in the sport. That inspired an entire generation of competitors to try and match what he did. Lavrone considers himself blessed to be able to compete alongside him. By being a fellow competitor during that era, it pushed the limits of everyone. Ultimately, this is the key to what makes Ronnie Coleman such a legend. And I'm here, you know, this year, just like I was here the last six years, doing what I had to do. Yeah, I mean, how many of you guys actually made it to the Mr. Olympia or been to Las Vegas? Raise your hands. Train like that and withstand that and, and live like that and do that and do that and do that, do you don't have a chance against him. It goes beyond his own abilities or the trophies on his wall. He inspired his peers. He also inspired the generation that followed. He changed the sport and made it something more than what people thought it could be. Kevin Lavrone doesn't bring praise lightly or over-exaggerate, but in this moment, he can't help but ramble on about how inhuman Ronnie Coleman's contributions to the sport were. Ronnie Coleman couldn't be Mr. Olympia forever, but his legacy can last eternally. That's all for this video, folks. See you next time.